We're going to be cleaning out the bilge here on our Irwin 38. I hope you enjoy the, the first thing we're doing is we're getting some of the systems moved out of the way. I've moved the um, <clears throat> the auxiliary hand pump system out of the way. I've removed the air conditioning pump out of the, out of the way. The tube that feed that drains the air conditioning. I'm sorry. Um, all this watering system will kind of move out of the way and eventually we'll get down here to the bilge. We're going to lift it straight up and out of its well down here in the bottom and then we're going to begin cleaning it out. And that's the reason your bilge was not pumping out sufficiently. You notice you've got a lot of crud all over your float. That's going to have to be cleaned off, removed. We're going to be using uh, just wet towels and Dawn dish soap and to get all this um, gunk. It's primarily soap and oils and crap from the main unit that come into it. So we're going to be cleaning all that off. Here we have our culprit for the reason it's not uh, working on its own is the float valve is is clogged. We're going to be opening up taking off this screw, taking off this plate, taking out the unit, cleaning the interior of it, uh, and then replacing all that back in there. And that's the, take care of it. This is the plate with its holes all clogged up, as you can see. And this is the float that is inside of that unit, how it is just encrusted and nasty. And so we're going to get all that off and put it back on. You'll notice on the tops of this particular float, there is a, a line of little bumps that's going to be going down into the into the bottom of that that system that the little bumps are the down part and that is what's going to be sliding in and out of the little shaft inside and we'll be cleaning that off and here again you're seeing the that's the shaft that that float will slide on and you can see that there is a lot of nasty stuff down in there so we're going to get down in there with our soapy water, kind of clean that out with our screwdriver, get all that material um, loosened up. You can detach this um, from, the, from the bracket and pull it completely clear. Um, we do this on a regular basis. Uh, you wouldn't notice it from this process, but um, the, uh, it is, uh, you can do that and pull it off completely. And then you have the issue of getting it just adjusted just right so it's going to pull the water from your from your bilge well um, correctly. Uh, last thing we're going to do is, is get down into there and clean out a lot of the crud that's in the bottom of that well. Um, get all that out of there and clean up any other debris that may be back in the in the process and, and get our get our uh, get our bilge. Right, here set. you can see the float inside. It's little ridges. That's what's going to be going um, against this plate on the back of it. We've cleaned off the plate. Uh, another little safety tip when you're removing this, make sure this little screw does not go down in the bilge or down your sink. And uh, because you're going to very much need it later on to put it on there. Again, you're going to need you to use your screwdriver to kind of get inside the hole where a lot of the crud builds up. And that tends to be part of the problem that uh, it's not floating up on the shaft well enough. So the next thing we're going to be doing is getting back down into the hold. And clean that out. I usually use a small thing of soapy water, uh, Dawn dish soap, to uh, to clean these units off and get all that um, wax and oil and everything else that goes to you your bilge. You can see the bilge is back down in its well and um, we're about to put all the other things around it like the, the emergency pump out uh, hose and we'll go back down in there. Um, let me just show you some of the wonderful things that came out of that uh, that bilge again. You've got your sundry bits of junk, but um, I mean you find all kinds of little things in here. You know that how did how did how did a little screwdriver get in there? I don't know. So it is just um, you know on this boat the centralized bilge gets the refuse of everything that comes out. Um, so important to to clean it. I hope that lets you understand how to clean out the bilge. Basically pull it out and clean it and put it back in. Um, not really hard to do. Uh, it's just nasty and you've got a lot of junk down in there. So for my dear wife Lori, I hope this will help you. If ever you need to clean up the bilge, just go to YouTube and you can see my loving face uh, cleaning out the bilge.
Um, well, a couple little things that you should know about this process. Um, if the bilge doesn't react right away, what you probably need to do is just shake it up and down. Sometimes in this particular float, for example, needs to have some water inside and it needs a little help in getting that in there. So shake it until um, it will start to react. Uh, another thing, if the water level doesn't, the, the, if you hear the bilge is on and the water level's not going down, continue to shake it up. We, as we clean this, we kind of stirred up a lot of junk down there. And the, the blades are trying to get a hold of that stuff and get it out the, out, out the, off the boat. Um, so just keep shaking it, moving it up and down uh, in its bracket and allowing that uh, material to kind of work through it and, and eventually uh, the water level will, will decrease. Um, if it doesn't, then you pull it all back out again and you figure out why it's clogged and fix it. Alright, so I hope this helped. Have a great day. Love you. Bye.